Excuse me, Census Bureau. I'd like to ask you a few questions. This uh, will only take a moment, Mr. Fingerman. Martin Fingerman. Uh, okay. And are you the only occupant? Any pets? Pets? Uh, no, no, just. One cat, Mr. Meow. Yeah, that's him. One cat. Okay, then, if that's it. It is. There you have it. Woo, that was fast. And thank you. Thank you for counting me. Hope to return the favor. Hold on. I thought you said you only had one cat. I do. That's Mr. Meow's pet, Jumbo. Anyway, the door. Your cat has a pet. Uh, what's the problem? Well, Mr. Meow doesn't really take care of him. Her, actually. Jumbo's a female name, and no, I take care of her. Oh, well, good. Then you've had her spayed and everything, right? Spayed? Oh, sure, spayed. Yeah, she's been spayed like five or six times this year alone. She loves it. Now, spaying is fixing, Mr. Fingerman. It's done once. You know there are places that will do it for you cheaply. Hey, that's great. My kind of places. Consider it done. Now, excuse me, you're very busy. They were presents. Presents? Yeah, my girlfriend gave me that for my birthday. He was for graduation. Some guy gave me that little dude for Arbor Day. You know, clothes make a nice gift. You think I need new clothes? Anything but dogs. You gotta get your friends to stop this, okay? It's not their fault. I'm really hard to buy for. I wear like odd sizes, you know? I have one leg that's a little longer than the other one, and so, oh. Grammy Fingerman! Grandson, here's something to smile you through your day. Martin, animals are not gifts. Of course they are. Didn't you see the bow on that thing? Ow! Ow! Hey! Wow, you hit me! Caring for a pet is not something you go into because your friend couldn't find pants in your size. They're a long-term responsibility, you know? I mean, you wouldn't give a baby as a gift. No, no. I wouldn't do that again. Yeah, I'm just finishing up with this address. Now, a little hard to explain. Just trying to get a handle on how many pets this guy's got. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm on top of it, though. Yeah. Okay. Keep counting. Hey, you mind if I use your washroom? Hey, uh, buddy, pal, why are there tropical fish in your tub? Well, I couldn't put them in the toilet. That's full of piranha. Those are piranhas. Yeah, I want something, you know, exotic, and they're really graceful. No, they're not. Come here. Come here. Come here. These are wild animals. They don't need us like cats and dogs. They're perfectly happy out in nature. What do you think, piranhas are swimming around the Amazon thinking, gee, you know what would be better than this? Some guy's toilet. Well, I mean, you know, they seem pretty... To be continued. What are these? More presents? No, I bought them. They went with my couch. You got gorillas because they matched a piece of furniture. They did, until I got rid of it. Now they're just bad cooks. You can't do this. I beg of you. 
They're my stuff. Hey, they're living creatures that need to be cared for, you nut. And some of these animals shouldn't even be pets. Coco, I could change. I swear. Oh, you'll have time to change. In jail. Me? In jail? Yeah, don't worry. The food there is slightly better than gorilla cooking. No one use the toilet. We'd like to tell you that after the events depicted here, Mr. Fingerman was abducted by aliens and kept as a neglected pet. Unfortunately, this did not happen. Instead, he was charged with animal endangerment. After a brief incarceration, he was sentenced to watch a documentary on pet overpopulation over and over and over again. After a short stay at a local shelter, the animals have all been spayed, neutered, vet checked, and adopted into loving homes. Except, of course, the piranhas. The gift puppy was taken in by the delivery person and has since outgrown its basket. Coco and Ping Pong were returned to the wild, where they have plans for a vegetarian restaurant. Meanwhile, the census taker went on to the apartment next door.